and 25 points. That's a lot of points. Yeah, he can actually give 11. some away if he wanted yeah, to. Exactly. <laughs> He's not giving anything away, folks. <laughs> it's eat or, it, it's kill or be killed. It's eat or be in here. Yeah, it's only that, the best. It's that only master the plus, you know, when he came uh, third. Uh, he oh, got a nice, yeah. you know, 400 points there. A big chunk yeah. uh, of points there for the Tekken World well Tour Global that Finals as well. And now here, battle testing the Zafina, really going for that lead. Like you pointed out, but you know, Zafina can also cause a lot of damage. Can't wait to see Shadow actually I mean, cause a lot of damage with this character as well. But we have Pikachu on the Shaheen, Chanel on the life lead here. Yeah, it's great to see you know these uh, top players adapt uh, to this game as well because in the past, you know, there was many grand final situations where Chanel would uh, you know just backdash infinitely for so long you know <laughs> yeah. with, with Safina and just wait for, for small punishes but now you can see oh, just yeah. 100 miles per hour he understands you know this is how the game is meant to be played you need to be aggressive in these situations yeah. Yeah, I like how they each, you know, we, we talked about different types of playstyles and Chanel being one of them, really utilizing the movement. He still has those, plus he has the aggression. That's the name of the game for Tekken 8, right? Mm, you want to yeah. be able to swing for the fences, you want to be able to steal your turns. Hopefully Pikachu can find his way into this matchup. Oh, unable to reset the neutral here. Gets blocked though, and now... Gets the mid. Yeah, Chanel's playing the, you know, really, really well here. He doesn't need to stop what he's doing because it's working very, very well for him. Two very dominating rounds mm -hmm. for Chanel. Definitely picking him apart here. Pikachu now still hasn't used uh, much of the Shaheen set play just yet, yeah. but gets a big counter hit to introduce him towards the wall. Yeah, that's definitely a good start from him there as well. Okay. Still constantly in his face though, Chanel not deterred. Even though he lost that first exchange, he's still at it. Still right in his face, chipping at the ankles. Constantly trying to steal back his turn. Yeah, and there you go. A whole kick out of nowhere. He's not done that at all. You know, a really surprising move there. My goodness. Scoops him up. Pikachu on his last legs. Oh my god, he's running away. Oh, he that, was, that mm -hmm. was nearly so sick. You see the way they just stepped that. Yeah, and uses the low in that situation. It's all about timing uh, there as well. He's looking for Chanel to finish with a low. Mm -hmm. He knew the low was coming. It was just about when it, mm -hmm. it was going to come. And he guessed uh, incorrectly there. Yeah, if I remember, well, if I'm looking at this correctly, mm. I think Uncle, oh, sorry, if, if we did see this matchup, we're definitely at pool B1 or B2. We have AK in this pool, we have Malik Ash, we have Mind yeah. RPG from Thailand, mm. Kakoma. Oh, and Pat Lore is giving Pikachu a little bit of words of wisdom here. He's like, pick Lily. <laughs> <laughs> that would work out, but yeah. Yeah, I wonder what he's saying to him as well, you know. He, he definitely needs to change his game. And Chanel looking Ooh. back as well, he's saying <laughs> uh, Also, actually, we're at pool B4. It's Chanel and Newman from, from Pakistan is also in that same pool. Okay, cool. So I'm really excited. I mean, we're, we're barely through halfway through the day, and it's like we're still seeing high-level matches like this. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to even make it out your pool in a tournament this stacked mm -hmm. in, in Tiger Uppercut. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what he does here. How is he going to adapt uh, to the game? It seemed like Chanel, you know, usually a defensive player, but now being very, very, very aggressive. aggressive in this yeah. game. Mm -hmm. And let's see if he's going to carry on being the same. He tried to be aggressive there, Pikachu just stopping the momentum. Oh, yeah. Him in his tracks. Speaking of carry, carrying towards the wall here. Chanel putting the timeout corner. Not looking too good. I like what Pat Laura said. Push the aggression. Give him a little room to breathe, but then come at it once again. Yeah, his back is against the wall then. One of the most dangerous situations that Chanel manages to get out. And he gets a lot of life yeah. back in We're the at the center of the stage, Ru Kang. This is insane. <laughs> and now they switch sides. And look at the life. It's almost about even. Yeah. But the slide is definitely going to give Pikachu that big advantage. Yeah, do you know when you're you, you're in that corner of the no, stage, no. you know, you shouldn't be letting them out. There should be no way mm -hmm. they can get out there because that's one of the most dangerous situations to be in there. Oh, yeah. But Chanel managed to find a way out, but Pikachu mm -hmm. still takes the round. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, a little deja vu of how round number one played out here. Back in the corner, Chanel goes here, even though she has amazing movement, but how can you backdash when your back yeah. is against the wall? And that's the same situation there again. And Fighting finds, back. Finds his way out. Uh -huh. in this Unable to get a checkmate situation there, but Pikachu does have heat to work with. That tracks so well, yeah. that down three. Look at the buttons being pressed, it's just going in. Okay, plus frames, goes low that time. Worry about the rage, Chanel can't go too willy-nilly, but goes low that time. Yeah, the pressure that Chanel's putting on is, is definitely suffocating. Oh yeah. Because Ch with Chanel's movement, you know, one backdash into launcher and you're in big trouble. Yeah. He's definitely being more and getting better in these exchanges. Even though Pikachu starts the round off so well like he is now, yeah. Chanel just finds a big opening and then just overwhelms him with just options from Zafina. That's what he's doing now again, you know, going for lows. Oh gosh, oh, low, low with the mid. starts as well. Oh. And again, oh. he, do you know what? I, 
I respect that because yeah. he's noticed that he's not ducking. Yeah. Even though that's a, a low that is reactable. Yes. Yes. He's not Her, ducking and he's punishing. Him. Her version of a snake. It probably took their thought. <laughs> low is coming. Get the DF to Chanel now. Introducing us to the left side of the stage. Mm. Gomi is seeing the right. Scarecrows and now Pikachu just gets him out of that stance oh. with the big low counter hit. Yeah, this is all looking at Chanel now. Let's see what we can do. And I'm not a big fan of that. You know, puts him into the open yeah. space again. His back was against the wall. And now... The bullying pressure begins. But yeah. giving him a little bit of space. Look at the evasion that DF2 is so yeah. sneaky. Oh, that's curtains. One more would do it for Chanel here. Yeah, Chanel very, very close. Let's see what Pikachu can do here. Can he come back? No oh. heat available. Could have done a sidestep hop kick there. Okay, I like the sidestep. Just evading that low. Trying to go mid that time. What's it going to be? Pikachu? Uh, yeah, Aww. Chanel was never going to fry. I mean, 